So, our crop of the day today is this beautiful piece of float from an old mine that's just up the hill there. I'm in South Korea again, and we're in a Cretaceous basin. The old mine left some ore on the beach. The beach is right back there. And this is a beautiful example of the difference between alteration and infill, and why it's really important to tell a difference between those two. When a vein or a breccia opens up due to structural movement or fluid overpressure, the resulting cavity often fills with hydrothermal fluid. Chemical reactions between the fluid and the wall rocks convert some of the minerals in the rock to new minerals like sericite and chloride. That is the process of alteration. As the reactions proceed and the fluid cools, other new minerals begin to precipitate from the fluid in the cavity. Quartz is usually the first, with crystals growing away from the walls of the cavity. Sulfides are usually next, and carbonate often fills the remaining space. This is the process of infill. Identifying what is infill and what is alteration is really important because base metal sulfides chalcopyrite, sphalerite and galena, and associated gold and silver precipitate almost exclusively in the open space infill, while pyrite can precipitate just as easily in alteration or infill. So here you can see a close up of the same piece. This here is a piece of wall rock with the quartz pyrite chloride alteration. That's the other piece of wall rock over there. Lots and lots of pyrite in here but it's all pyrite. This is the infill here, and it's composed mostly of quartz with chalcopyrite and galena interstitial to the quartz. You can see the quartz crystals there growing off the walls of the wall rock in towards the cavity so that you know this was initially an open cavity and that all of these minerals in here are infill that have filled in the open space. And you can see the difference there. Here is chalcopyrite, galena, and a little bit of pyrite, and in here, all of the sulfides are pyrite. So this will go half a gram at best, this will go half an ounce. This is the stuff you want, infill versus alteration. And for all you engineers out there, this is ore, and this is waste.